Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Saturday, which means it is time for another nice watches high school of the dead. Oh boy. So, on the last episode of High School of the Dead, it was more or less just a catch up filler episode, and I wasn't super happy about that, but I mean, hey, at, at least, you know. Our boy got our, his first human kill, I guess. And it was suitably fucked up. So that's fun. Uh, they're still trying to meet back up with the bus, so maybe they'll actually be able to do that. And then we'll get to deal, get to deal with our first human antagonist. Or, like, real antagonist. Not just a one-off dick shit. But let's, let's just get in here, because fucking last episode was going bad fucking nothing let's see shall we in three two one and go that was an airplane so are you guys just holding out like in this plane or are you heading out I love how they're speaking English. I love how they're speaking English. Like, like I was like, that's like a that's like a, a dose of realism that I I, I I really like because ever since um, there was like a massive plane collision, like I don't remember where, but it was like in a place that has like really really bad fog, um, like. Where, like, the pilots and the tower control, they didn't speak the same language. And so they were just trying to communicate best they could, but they didn't really know what the fuck each other was saying. And so just two planes just... <laughs> so as a result, like, it was made laws like, hey, if you're doing planes, you're speaking English. And you have to be fluent. Because that is the most spoken language in aviation... And as a result, it's the least likely to cause problems. Like, I, I, I do really, really like that they actually did that. Because it could have been very, very easy. Because this is a show made for the Japanese by the Japanese. It would have been the fucking easiest goddamn thing. To just be like, oh yeah, no, uh, fucking Watashiwa plane desk, fucking... You know, I don't know, like... God, man, there's so much fucking titty on display in this opening. What the hell? Well. That looks like a safe place to be a, to be hiding from the zombies. You'd have to clear it out first. Oh, that... I mean, he's having a good time for a zombie, you know? He's just having a good old time. Yo, that's just gonna bring him to you. You'd think they'd use a suppressor or something. But then I guess suppressors are still decently loud, if depending on like what caliber you're using, if you're using subsonic or not. Ooh! Ooh, get fucked, my boy! I mean, a bulletproof vest isn't really gonna do you much... much help in this situation, unless, like, you had, like, a full arm covering kind of thing. I mean, this airport seems to be, like...
I mean, this, once you clear out the zombies, this place seems pretty safe. Why would you leave? Like, if it was, if it was me, I'd be like, nah, I'm, I'm staying here. Like, fucking, so long as you mean, so long as you prevent zombie outbreaks, you know, make sure no one comes in or out without, like, a solid quarantining, you know? Like, you're, you're good. Oh, gee, I wonder who the friend is. Must Might be the only other person with tits that big. They bond over their fucking difficulty finding bras. And as a result, nobody shall contact your family members, and I shall be your father now. You may call me daddy. <laughs> They're gonna wind up dating at the end. Stop making noise, you fucking thundering dumbasses! Like America. That, I mean, they're still fucking armed, though. Like, the American military base would still be fucking armed because they're there as a fucking discouragement force of the Chinese and Koreans. Yeah. Like... If they, if, why, oh, sorry, I misidentified their gun there for a second, I'm a dumbass. Everyone will starve to death, that's what will happen. I mean, she's not entirely wrong. Like, military, like, but they've wasted too much time. Like, they've wasted too much time. Military bases are going to start closing off and stop taking in new refugees because they'll start getting too full. Small enclosed communities are only going to get smaller and more enclosed. The more time they waste on this bus, the harder they're making it for themselves to find a safe place to hunker down until this is solved. Damn. Damn, get fucked. Get fucked, Kagi. Well, those guys are having fun. And here's the thing, and here's the unique thing to Japan during a zombie apocalypse. The Yakuzis. For every Kazuma Kiryu out here trying to help people and protect them, there's gonna be a Majima just out there having fun with it. Except this guy is probably not as chill as Majima is. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that I, I said that I didn't like. People going hysterical and just lighting up some random people on the street. Likely not going to happen. Or at least if it does, it probably wouldn't be, probably wouldn't be very common. Especially not like when there's still a military presence around. Crisis situations have a tendency to bring people together more than anything. 
Like, I'm not saying it can't happen, I'm just saying that, I man, I hope that this is not a very common occurrence in this show. Because it's not very realistic. I guess it makes for good drama, which is fine. Remember, stay six feet apart and wear your masks. Oh no, Josuke, no! Juvenile law. Well, they're dead. Yeah, no, they're dead. Holy fuck, police. Homicide is not the fucking answer! Jesus Christ! Like, the whole point of these less than lethal weapons isn't to fucking hose people off the side of bridges into fucking running, like, rushing water. Holy fuck, like, those kids, assuming those kids don't just fucking drown, the current of that river is taking them right into those concrete supports. Those kids are dead! One of y'all needs to go up behind him and just quick. Now this is something that I would imagine might happen. Early on, you might get people trying to start up cults or take advantage of existing religions. And this is why religion is bad. Because it purely exists to take advantage of people in crisis situations. I'm just imagining her dad, like, in some fucking, like, mall dojo in America, just fucking judo chopping zombies to death. Fucking damn, living by that Bushido code. Fuck, I. Nah, nah, too late. Too late, Takagi Hirano's fucking imprinted on you, you bitch. Ah. Damn. Damn, my man's a fucking... My man's a fucking anime protagonist, holy shit, alright. Fucking Amsterdam must be, like, either the best or worst place. Everybody has got that, everyone's got a little bit of that devil's lettuce to calm the fuck down, huh? Someone gets bit by a zombie and is like, oh man, that's fucking cool. Like, the zombies are just super fucking chill. They can't even be bothered to bite anyone. I swear to God, if y'all get off the bus... I mean, this, they, they found the bus first, so if anyone gets off, it's fucking you.
A free country, dog. She can go wherever the fuck she wants. Hirano, please shoot this man. He's coming right for you. He's cut. Yeah, there it is. Black, black. That's the sound of my gat. Don't mess with the quiet kid. All ye bully rooks with the buskin boots. Best ye go, best ye go, faster than mine arrow. <laughs> While you were having premarital sex, I studied the nail gun. <laughs> Light him up! Light him up! Fucking god damn it. They have to just ruin every Okay, them getting off the bus, kinda dumb, but because you know they found it first and it would have been useful, but seeing as traffic is being super highly controlled, okay fine, I can understand it. They do need to find themselves some more protective prote transportation for when these traffic rules do break down though, because they will eventually. We're gonna have to kill the police! H Hooray! They don't actually need to cross the bridge, yay! Yeah, all that, like, top heavy weight, probably a little bit of a pain in the ass, huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get her a real sword, fuck's sake. He put all his skill points into gun! As is tradition. Yeah, do flip! Do flip! R really? Just... God, if she wasn't trained as a doc- If she wasn't a trained medical pro professional, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, plunging attack. It's a good thing these zombies are fucking stupid, because that'd be the dumbest possible thing to do. Yeah! My man pack real heat now! My mans! Okay, maybe don't double tap, though. Maybe, maybe you've only got, like, Ten bullets now. Oh, wait, no, that, that's a five-shot revolver. He's only got eight bullets now. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God, that's some Zelda shit. All right. Okay. Like, with these guys, a single tap probably good enough. I, and you weren't, Takagi? Ara ara. I mean, at least, at the very least, it'll limit influx of new zombies, at least until the barricade breaks down. Fuck. Alright. 
Shit, all right, Hirano just did a me. Okay, then. Except he, like, knew the actual, like, model number and fucking... All right, cool. <laughs> I hope they didn't get rid of that nail gun, though, because nails are going to be a lot easier to come by than bullets in Japan. And also, it's a much quieter weapons platform. And she also owns many, many guns, probably. Imagine they walk in, she's just got, like, a full... full fucking wall full of guns. That sounds like a pretty good place to hold up, then. God damn it. God damn it, Hirano. I mean, maybe splitting up not the best one they don't know. Go to jail. Go to jail. <laughs> I imagine the sniper lady's apartment is probably where they get all the firearms in the opening, huh? They step in and they're like, oh man, why does it feel like I just stepped into America? <sighs> but hey, I mean, hey, that, that, was, that was a good episode. Almost makes up for the fact they wasted 20 minutes of my day, like, last week. All right. <laughs> uh. ah. I like how they have pictures of, um... Cat like, fucking just background nobodies who fucking died. Oh, hey, and there's the delinquent and his friends. God, they didn't even get taken out by zombies. They got fucking drowned by the cops. Nice to know that even in Japan, the cops are just as fucking pieces of shit as, a, as Western cops. It's almost as if the as if the career of policing applies to, appeals to psychopaths a lot. <laughs> Not saying all of them are, mind you. Why does she have that in a civilian setting? That is a pretty decent fe- That is a pretty decent looking fence, but... Don't- Don't expose more skin, you fucking moron! Now that we have gained the ancient art of the gun, <laughs> our power level has increased a thousandfold. I don't think y'all changed. I feel like y'all just did what humanity is really good at, which is adapting. Oh good, the fan service bath episode. Can't wait. I'm not going to address that. Going to just ignore that.
Oh, boy. Okay, um... Yes. Uh, so... Man, yeah, this episode, really good. I like it a lot. And just what he said at the end there. Um, like, about how much they change in just one day. It's like, oh man, it's amazing how much we change. It's like... I don't feel like that's, it's that big of a change. It's mostly just... Humans are really, really good at adapting to new situations. It's kind of weird. It's actually why... Um, in people with, like, severe... Uh, so bear in mind, like, this is, once again, it's a spectrum. Like, people with severe autism, like, uh, not being able to adapt to new situations is a symptom. Because that is a, is a default human thing, right? Like, a lot of people are like, oh man, such a big change, oh my god. But the, humans are ridiculously adaptable. Like, there is... Very, very much a reason why, like, one accurate descriptor of humans is bipedal cockroaches. Because cockroaches are the only other species on this planet as adaptable as we are. Except, you know, for them, it's because their body design is very, very efficient. For us, it's because we are intelligent, like, way more than most animals are. And... Our minds are very, very capable of thinking in abstract ways, which comes in very, very handy when thrust into a new situation. It allows us to extrapolate based on limited data and come up with plans and ideas and actions that allow us to adapt very well. And you can see it in, in this show. Like, all of their... And, and never mind. Everything they're doing is stuff that they were capable of doing before, Except it has been adapted and and applied to the new situation. And I fucking love that about humanity. Like, I, I don't know, like, what, what, like, I would specifically do. Because I don't want to, like, be, like, conceited and be like, oh, like, I'm very good at organization. So I'd be able to do this and this and this. Or I'm really good at... I'm really good at this other thing. So I could do this and this. Um, yes, I'm not even gonna go there, but, like, just, like, looking at, at, at these guys, like, Hirano has very clearly got an affection for guns and for mechanics, right? So he took, so he took, basically, his, uh, his hobbies from before, which is, you know, being a gun nut and what appears to be a limited amount of engineering work and crafted his own firearm and is honestly one of the most capable people in the group. Um, what, what's the sword lady's name? Shizuka or something? Like, Shizuka, uh, like, she was a kendo master, and while kendo is mostly about, you know, I uh, know, bap, it's still, like, you know, a little bap on the head to score a point. Yeah, like, it's still based on traditional Japanese sword technique, and as a result, she's managed to adapt kendo technique in such a way that yeah, no, she is, like, probably, like, tied with Hirano for the most capable. Um, you know, Ray was in the Spear Club, and I imagine they probably didn't teach you to fucking murder in that club, but she's been able to take what she learned and go from there. Um, you know, like, it's, like, I mean, we don't have, like, a super full, like, super full knowledge of what every one of our main characters was doing before the apocalypse happened, but it seems like all of them have some form of skill or something that at first glance you're like, eh, maybe that wouldn't be the best thing to have, like, in, in the moment. But they've turned it into something that is. And that is honestly something that I feel like most all humans would be able to do. Like, there are exceptions, of course, because, you know, survival of the fittest and humans have not really had evolutionary pressure in a long fucking time. So, but, but still, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and, and I, and I really, really like that this show is actually taking what makes humans the apex species of our planet, because we fucking are. Like, like, any fucking, like, anti-humanist sentiment where it's like, oh man, humans kinda suck, it's like, fucking no we don't. You think we'd be able to fuck our planet up enough? Like, you think we'd be able to fuck our planet up this much if we weren't the apex fucking species? No. Like, fucking any species, if it gets big enough, is able to fuck up an environment. 
We're so successful, we managed to fuck up every environment. Even ones we don't live in. It's kind of impressive, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, boy. Mm. But, um, but yeah, other than that, like, I mean, this is a pretty good, uh, this, this is a pretty decent, uh, like, episode is like just kind of showing like the slow breakdown of society like we see like what's going on like at the airport like people leaving the airport i disagree with i mean i don't know enough about the area so like if from from just first glance it looks like it is an airport like that's basically on a converted island and it's just completely cut off i imagine the zombies ca can't swim like I don't I don't know like how like how the zombies you know if they are like the zombies that can what just walk underwater I don't know if that's the thing but you could probably solve that with fences and then the bodies would be so waterlogged that they'd be borderline useless they probably probably fucking dash themselves against a chain link fence and die instantly from falling apart um and see can I can we get can I get a can I get a, a wide shot of it? I mean, we had one. I'm just trying to scrub through and actually fucking find it. Can I find it? Can I find it? I'm I'm thinking I can't. Yeah, no, I can't find it. Oh well. But like it looked like it was just like the entire island had been converted into airport. Most airports have like fences around them. So I mean, hey, that's a thing. And I doubt there's there's zero grass. You know, so maybe like you know, maybe they could find something to grow for food. I mean, the fucking airports, like, if it's, if it's that, that isolated of an airport, it's probably got, like, a decent amount of non-perishable food stores just for the shops. Probably not the most nutritious stuff, but there you go. Um, yeah, I don't know why you would leave. I mean, I guess, like, they're prob like the, the staff probably would encourage people to leave, because that way, you know, that way they can, uh, you know, they can enjoy it themselves, but, but there you go. Um, yeah, that... If if that place is as isolated and and decently defensible as it as I thought it looked, then hey, that don't know why you'd leave. But once again, like it, I do I do like how we're seeing the, everything around and how everything's collapsing and and the reactions of different people. Some people are just like, all right, business as usual, bam 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 bam. All right, uh, fuck it. Some people are like, oh no, I gotta get home, oh no. And then some people be like, this is a police state now, get off the bridge. Or we're going to kill you with hoes. <sighs> God, those poor fucking delinquents. Holy shit. Um, yeah, it, it's... It's really neat. I like it a lot. I like seeing everybody's everybody's reaction to the fall of society. Um, and Shido being, a, Shido being a villain that I imagine is going to come back and be an issue. Kind of like that. Kind of like how they're setting him up. Um... And he's also, like, sufficiently low-tier that he really work as a season one villain. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely liking this a lot. And it seems like our, our main character is going to be able to get the, get some, some gearing up done next episode. Which, while it's, like, ridiculously convenient, it's like, Oh, no, my best friend just so happens to be a fucking... Dem like anti-domestic terror unit oh geez look at all these firearms in her house it's very convenient and a tiny bit unrealistic but it is an anime and it needs to show and, it, and and we can't just have our protagonist be completely powerless the entire time that would be you know kind of fun like showing them like in full survivalist mode but this i feel like this show is a lot more actiony so i feel like and most people, like, in this situation would try and gear up the best they could. So expediting the gearing up process, probably for the best. But, hey, I guess we'll see how far that goes next time, won't we? So, 
uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So let me know what you thought of this down there in the comments. Whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you wanna bring up something I left out, because that is entirely possible. Oh, boy. Um, remember to like, comment, fair, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, hit the share button down below, and if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down in the description, or if you only want to do, like, a one-time thing, there's a Streamlabs thing down below. Big thanks to everybody who does those. Uh, you guys keep the channel going, and you help me get new stuff to help invest in the channel, so, thank you. Thank you a lot. Uh, if you're looking for more content from me, then I do post and try and post anime every single day at around noon. Um, if you're watching this date comes out, then tomorrow, Sunday the 25th, there will not be an anime, mostly because a new show that I really want to watch is coming out, like, in seven days, and... I'm just, I'm saving that spot. I'm saving that spot. Uh, and I also try and stream every single day at around 3. Though, of course, you know, schedule has to change some days because stuff happens. Uh, today, though, guaranteed, there is going to be a stream at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, whichever the fuck we're on now, um, where we're going to be playing more Final Fantasy VI. And that's turning out to be pretty fun. Hope I can see you there. Oh, boy. Yeah, as always, everybody, I am Nozvix, and I'll see you in the next video. But most of you've all become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a rune down rune.